GarageBand on the iPad or iPhone does not have a master volume fader. Yes, there's no way to control the overall volume of your project, except there's a workaround, a little hack using the FX button of all things. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. This is actually part of a three-video series all about the cool powers of FX. So if you'd like to learn about all of these functions and how to use FX on just a single track, check out the other videos in the description. So here's the situation. You've got your finished project here. All of your track volumes are balanced beautifully, except your overall volume is too loud. Let's take a listen to this track and I'll show you what I mean. Can you hear the cracks and the pops and the distortion at the top end of that? Yeah, it's because it's way too loud. You can see on our fader here, we can't change it, but it is showing it that it's way too loud. How do we fix this? Well, what we need to do is tap on the FX button. Yes, I know it's a bit strange. And then tap on this, our plugins and effects button, because you'll notice that our effects track, even if we're not using it, has this. It has a visual EQ that we can change. So it's a little here hidden way of changing the treble and the bass. But we're not concerned with that. We want volume. So what do we want to do? Well, we're going to turn on that visual EQ and tap on the actual EQ button here. And what you'll notice is that as well as controlling bass, mids and trebles, we've got this, a gain slider. So what we can do is grab this gain slider, drop it down. In this case, I'm going to drop it right down over about 10 to 12 dB because this song is way too loud. And now if we hit play, take a listen and a look. Sounds way better, looks way better. We're not clipping, we're not getting any of those clicks and pops at the top end. Hit done and we're good to go. And if you want to come back and explore it at any time, you can just hit the FX button, tap there and adjust your volume. It can even work for turning up your volume. But in honesty, I find that most folks tend to mix too loud and it's a great way if you're right at the end of the project and you don't want to go and change 32 different track volumes, you can just drop the volume down here and it will change the overall master volume and that's all there is to it how you can add your own custom master volume fader here in GarageBand. Hey I hope you found this one useful if you'd like to check out the other FX videos they're linked in the description as well as the complete playlist of all of my GarageBand five minute tips if you'd like to learn how to create record and release your best music. I'll see you next time.